So before I start, no, let me ask you this question. Why do bad things happen to people? Why do believers suffer? Or what is the purpose of suffering? And why do we need to suffer as a follower of Christ? You know, me and your Life Giver Church, a political family po, is standing with you in prayers, ABS-CBN. And siguro yan yung isa sa mga malalalim na katanungan mo no, na nasa isip mo ngayon. Bakit? Diba? Bakit may pagdurusa pa? At bakit ito nararanasan ng mga anak ng Diyos? You know, in John chapter 16, verse 33, it says that I have told you this thing so that in me, you may have peace in this world, you will have trouble, but, but take heart. I want to stress that. Take heart. I have overcome the world. This was the last week when Jesus was alive in his mortal body before dying on the cross. At yan po ang uniqueness ng book of John compared sa ibang mga gospels. Kasi kalahati ng book niya, okay, in cha- um, chapters 13 to 21, is the last week, death, and then the last 40 days of Jesus Christ with his disciples. So, bakit kaya hindi siya nagtago ng katotohanan sa kanyang mga disciples no? sa kung ano talagang mangyayari sa kanya? Bakit hindi nag-sugarcoat si Jesus tungkol sa mga bagay na mararanasan natin dito sa lupa sa pagsunod sa kanya? Dalawang mabigat na verses ang usually na pinangahawakan natin, di ba? Ito yung alam na alam na natin na parang sa verse na to, pinapakita na gaganda ang buhay natin at tayo ay masispare sa sufferings. Alala niyo yung Jeremiah 29.11, nako, memorize na memorize natin to. Sabi niyo daw, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And it says in John 10.10, 10, it says that the, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So paano ko ngayon i-coconnect ito sa topic natin about sufferings? Mukha namang walang suffering sa verses na ito, kabaliktaran pa nga. Well, makakaranas ba tayo ng sufferings or exempted nga ba talaga tayo sa sufferings? Kunin natin yung kwento ni Jeremiah, no? Sa Jeremiah 29:11 to 14 po kasi, no, maganda makita natin yung mga sunod-sunod or previous verses bago tayo talaga mag-dig deeper doon sa verse na pinag-uusapan natin. Sabi niya, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a bright future. Then you will call on me, diba, and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart, and I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. I want to stress that word, captivity and exile. Kung verse 11 lang kasi mukhang may magandang mangyayari sa atin. Pero may verse 14 pa kasi ang kwento is captivity, o sa Tagalog, pagkabihag. Exile naman is pagpapatapon. So meaning, yung plans to prosper na sinasabi ng Lord through Jeremiah was after a captivity and after an exile. Yan ang maganda sa Bible, hindi niya sinasugarcoat, hindi pinapaganda yung pangit, or diba, hindi pinapapangit yung maganda kasi maganda na siya. Yung katabi mo, diba? parang katabi mo, maganda at guapo. <laughs> Tingnan naman natin yung John 10.10. 10. It says there, diba, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come, they may have life, and have it to the full and I am the good shepherd the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep yung verse 10 po ay composed ng three phrases the thief comes only to steal kill and destroy and I have come that they may have life and have it to the full pero tignan mo yung una sabi niya the thief comes to steal kill and destroy hindi sinabi na ang second and third statements ni Jesus binubura yung unang statement so, tama that I have come that they may have life, says Jesus. ba? And have it to the full. Pero hindi tayo daw makakaiwa sa thief na ang activities ay stealing, killing, and destroying. So, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, you will never be exempted by from experiencing the stealing, killing, and destroying. But I will come. Wow! 
Diba? Tingnan niyo yung verse 11, tapos dinuktong niya, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So, pa paano ilay down ang buhay mo kung di humaharap sa matinding danger ang tupa mo? Alam ba ninyo na nasa panganib ang buhay ng shepherd? Sa pagharap ng mga wolves, lions, and bears. So, at saan ilalay down ng shepherd ang buhay niya kung hindi humaharap sa danger ang mga tupa? Yan ang masarap sa contextual consideration ng pag-aaral ng Bible. Yan ang maganda kung supported ng cultural background ang pag-aaral natin ng Bible. So, balikan natin yung main text. It says there, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you have trouble. You will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. John 16:33. Sinabi ito ni Lord bago ang kanyang Gethsemane experience. Ang Gethsemane experience niya ay ang bridge po sa pakikipag-usap niya sa mga disciples at sa abduction niya. And in chapter 16, ay ang chapter po ng warning ni Christ sa mga disciples niya. Sabi niya doon, All this I have told you so that you will not fall away. Diba? They will put you out of the synagogue. In fact, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think they are offering a service to God. They will do such things because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you this, ha? Ayan na, nag siya. So that, this, so that when their time comes, you will remember that I warned you about them and I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you. Tapos pinangako niya ang advocate and that is the Holy Spirit na tinatawag din nating comforter. And in John 6, 16, 6-7, sabi niya, Rather, you are filled with the grief because I have said these things, but very truly I tell you, it is for your good. Mm, that I am going away. Unless I go away, the advocate will not come to you. But I, if I go, I will send him to you. The Holy Spirit is our advocate and He is our comforter. Kailan ka ba kinakomfort? Diba? Pag may sufferings. Tapos diniin niya ulit na may whipping and mourning. You will grieve. Ayan. And in John 16, 20, 21, Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. Wow! May whipping, may pag may mourning, may pagdadalamhati. But it will turn to joy, magiging kagalakan daw. Now, in the time of grief, kalungkutan, you will rejoice, may kagalakan. At wala rin makapag-aalis ng kagalakan. So, anong nakita natin sa verses na ito? Number one is that suffering is certain. Sabi mo nga sa screen mo, <laughs> suffering is certain. It says in verse 33, in this world you will have trouble. <laughs> Sinasabi ng iba that pain is certain and suffering is optional. Well, no. Suffering po and pain are certain. Ang pagdurusa ay tiyak, mangyayari, at mangyayari. Probably one of the greatest challenges that we face in this, in the reality of evil and suffering, totoo ito. Totoong may suffering, yes. Totoo bang may evil, yes. Ito, isa ito sa rason bakit tayo nagsasuffer. Yung presence ng masasamang tao, Tawag dito, moral evil. At dito po tayo nagsasuffer. Meron pa, yung tinatawag nating natural disasters are often considered evil as well because all the sufferings they cause ay maaring yun na nga may dulot na masama sa ating buhay. Like earthquakes, tidal waves, floods, diba? and so many more. Well, I want to stress this that no exception, wala pong exemption sa sufferings. And most of the men in the Bible, do you know that they also suffered? Adam suffered the difficulty of toiling the soil. Job suffered from losing 10 children and bankruptcy. Noah suffered during the erection of the ark together with the mocking of people. Abraham suffered the hardship of moving from earth to the promised land. Moses suffered with the Israelites moving the whole people out of Egypt in almost 40 years. Grabe! In the wilderness. David suffered for 17 years in the wilderness to spare his life from King Saul and waging war against the enemies of Israel. Jeremiah fought for God against the whole nation. Israel, uh, Isaiah no, was cut inside a log. Jesus suffered and died on the cross. 
and suffer the most horrible or horrifying death in history. Ang dami pa po no, sa Bible na nag-suffer. Sa lahat ng men of God sa Bible ay nagdusa. It says in Romans 8.17, Now if we are children, then we are heirs and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in His sufferings, in order that we may also share in His glory. Question, are we just partakers of God's victory? How about God's suffering or Christ's suffering? Diba? Ano ba, magupuri lang ba tayo sa Diyos pag masaya lang? Paano pag hindi na maganda ang nangyayari? I hope and pray that today we will also understand that we are also partakers of His suffering and His glory. Number two, suffering is certain but Jesus will give you peace. Wow! It says in verse 33, I have told you this thing so that in me you may have peace. Peace po means tranquility. It means what? Yun nga, yun payapa ka, di ba? Not the absence of trouble, but tranquility of the heart in the needs of trouble. The soul is assured in its salvation through Christ. So yun, kahit magulo yung paligid, kahit nag- merong pandemic, di ba? Kahit merong mga issues o merong mga problema, di ba? Nagkakagulo paligid, pero yung puso mo is what? Grabe at peace. And you do you know that almost the entire New Testament used the same word and meaning? Hindi pa natin nasusukat yung power ng totoong peace, ha? Tignan ninyo ito. nag po ang Hebrews chapter 11 ng Heroes of Faith. Yet wala silang pangalan. At di natin alam saan sila nag-appear sa history ng Bible. Ang tawag sa kanila ay Hebrews 11.13 people. Wala po kayong mabibig, di ba? Wala po kayong uh, mabibigla sa... Huwag po kayo mabibigla sa kanila kasi wala po silang nakuha sa Panginoon ng panahon na sila po ay nagdurusa. Wala nga, hindi nga sila napangalanan eh. Hindi sila may, may masyadong uh, ha, nalagyan ng title. Pero sabi niya doon, all these people were still living by faith. When they died, they did not receive the, the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. Hebrews 11, 13-16 Basta po ang tawag sa kanila ay foreigners and strangers, turista. Wala ka namang nakitang turista, di ba, na aligaga, di ba, o kaya aburido. Indeed, peace comes from the Lord. It comes from Jesus. And it says in John 14, 27, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you. Sabi niya, as the world gives, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Peace daw, I live with you. Sabi niya, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Hindi ito katulad na binibigay ng mundo sa atin. Temporary lang kasi binibigay ng mundo. Pero binibigay ni Lord is eternal peace. Ito maganda dito. Magsasuffer daw tayo, pero may peace. In Isaiah 9, 6, is, 6 is the, is, it says there, sabi, sabi that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And he is the source. So peace is a, is what a profoundly important condition in every believer's life. The peace of Jesus is an abiding, eternal, trans circumstantial peace. It is easy to get from the source, but hard to lose. The peace of the world is fragile. Madaling mabasag, madaling masira, madaling mawala. Temporary lang. The world looks to the money as a source of peace and also to relationship and other things. For it says in Philippians 3.15, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Our decision po must be based on peace. Everything can look right, but without peace, it isn't. So don't go without it. Let the peace of God rule you, your marriage, your workplace, your walk with God, your work, diba? and your service to God. Wow. And so, number three and the last I'm done is this. Suffering is certain, but Jesus guarantees victory. It says in verse 33, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Sufferings for are certain, tama? Pero may peace. Tama? 
Anong trabaho ngayon ng peace? The peace of God ensures victory. Sabi niya doon, take heart. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. Before the battle, Jesus already ensures victory. During battle, Jesus ensures our victory through His victory. Yun po ang basis ng ating peace. Kaya nga tinawag ang gospel na gospel of peace eh. At ang gospel, yun ang basis ng ating salvation. Pangalawa, sabi ni Christ, I have overcome the world. And this is the most comforting word in the Bible. Just imagine Jesus, our salvation provides not only peace but victory. Kasi yung present suffering po ay may kasunod na victory and glory. It says Romans 8.18, I consider that our present suffering are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. After every suffering, there's rewarding. The Lord promises a victory over us. Last verse po for tonight, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55 to 57. It says, Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Talakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Number one, I want you to know that suffering is certain. Number two, suffering is certain, but Jesus will give you peace. And number three, suffering is certain, but Jesus guarantees victory. Let's close our eyes in prayer and let me minister to every one of you today. You know, ABS-CBN family, the Lord knows no, the condition of our hearts. Alam din niya yung pinagdadaanan mo. Alam din niya yung mga struggles natin ngayon. Alam niya bakit nangyayari lahat ng yan. But I want you to know, if you feel discouraged, you feel like you're so lonely right now, depressed, and you feel like you're hopeless, you are in a hopeless situation, I want you to know that suffering is certain. Darating talaga siya. Dadaan talaga siya. So, hindi para parusahan ka, pero para baguhin ka. Suffering, you know, is what is there for us to be mature. And sometimes, you know, God will not change your circumstance. God will change your heart towards your circumstance. Ang babaguhin ni Lord ay hindi yung sufferings. Ang babaguhin ni Lord, bakit may suffering? Ay ang puso mo towards that suffering. I want you to know that suffering is certain. But number two, suffering is certain, but Jesus will give you peace. I pray for peace that comes from the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to know, know that peace is, is present right now in our needs. At sinashower daw ng Panginoon yan sa puso mo. Maybe some of you are troubled. Maybe some of you are what? are worried and dami-dami mo nang iniisip, worried ka sa future mo, you are worried about your present situation, but God is telling you, anak, I am your Prince of Peace and I am giving you peace, unmistakable peace right now in your heart. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And number three and the last, I want you to know, suffering is certain, but Jesus guarantees victory. Sabi nga, di ba, nung kanta, there's a rainbow after the rain. And God is telling you, there's victory every after suffering. Kasi hindi mananatili yung suffering mo na yan. Hindi mananatili yung problema mo na yan. Yung present situation yung ngayon, hindi yan mananatili. Hindi yan forever. And God wants you to pull you out of that situation right now. But first, God wants to change your heart. And I want you to claim God's victory tonight in your life, in your family, in your situation, even in your workplace, and in your future. Thank you, God, for today you are teaching us, Lord God, that suffering is certain. Suffering is certain, but Jesus will give us peace. And suffering is certain, but Jesus guarantees victory. We receive this by faith. We love you. We praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Amen.